incredible. That is fucking incredible, dude. Shut up. Dude, that is so cool. That's like, I mean, I don't need, oh, I wanted seeds, but we can just go find seeds. We're fine. I'm just gonna go find seeds. Later, you little fuck twats. The ball. Oh, yeah. Didn't she used to throw like a huge fucking Halloween ball every year? Wasn't that her thing? I think I remember that being like, she did it every fucking year and she would invite Trent Reznor and a couple people. Trent Reznor actually owns one of her old houses. One of Anne Rice's houses in New Orleans, Trent Reznor records in now, I think. One of it's, um, oh God. I can't remember the name of the song. I can see it. He's playing piano really softly. It's a soft song and there's red curtains all around, but that's, you can look it up on YouTube and that's recorded in her one of her houses, a house she used to live in or something like that. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's been years. I don't really like her new books. She got, she had like a moment where she was like, religion. I just, I grew up Catholic. Like, I don't want to read about religion anymore. You know, it's like someone handing anyone in America, anyone in the U.S. public school system, anything about Oregon Trail. I, no, I don't want to bang my head against that again. He sold his new... Oh, did he? Yeah, the song is hella old, the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Dude, that is so cool. I mean, I'm not... I would never... No. I know you wouldn't tell me a bullshit story like that because you know it would break my heart if I found out it was bullshit. I'm, I just didn't know what else to say. Like, that is so cool. Religion. Although I do have a weird religious kink. Like, that shirt I have with the gagged uh, nun on it is, like, kind of hot. I don't want to fuck her, though. I just think it's kind of hot. Like, I'd put it on the walls. <gasps> fuck my ass god damn it oh shit balls that was close see and sometimes like 20 of those will just show up <laughs> it's very scary you could die everybody dies from cholera and you know this oh mosley absolutely we talked about we were talking about this yesterday i don't remember how we got on the religious topic but i was raised catholic too and it's like it's hard to fight the religion because everything like half the shit is taught in latin and you have no idea what the fuck you're saying anyways Hard to argue words you're like, you know, and I think they kind of do it on purpose. I don't know, though. I know some very nice Catholic people. I just don't know why they still adhere to that ugly church when they don't really follow it. You know, in my youth, I was fearless. <laughs> I think I've got a lot fear more fearless as I've gotten older. I think that's where we wanted to go. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> or touch anyone. You know, I'm actually afraid to touch people, which is sad because I am kind of a physical person, not in a creepy way, but like, you know, if I was having a serious conversation with someone, a friend, and they were hurting, I would reach out and hold their hand or their arm or offer mine. And nowadays I feel like people will like call the cops and say I'm like raping them with my kindness. I don't know. It makes me feel off. I don't know about it anymore, yeah. It makes me not want to touch people when I used to be very comfortable with it. Yep, now I just make a lot of eye contact, which also makes people uncomfortable, but I'm very much a face person. Like, I get a lot of communication out of what people's faces do when they're talking to me. Just ask for consent, right? I mean, even that people think is creepy. Like, I don't even want to start the creep vibe, so I just don't even go there anymore. Germs. COVID. <gasps> Jesus. Look at all this shit. Holy God fuck. I wish I had a bomb. The first time in my life. I love hugs too, and I love like good hugs. Like when I go to conventions and you guys come up to say hi, I will give you a hug like a mom gives you a hug and usually whisper something creepy in your ear so it's not too like affectionate. But, like a good fucking hug from someone you actually like know because we talk every day all day. Something about it. Feels good and real. Banana and I have hugged many times. <laughs> good hugs. Soon we shall hug again once the world is not a poisonous destitute this sadness. Oh, people are usually already crying. 
I do this, so it, it was coined not by me. It was coined by my followers. I glom. Like, if you're, like, five feet from me and you're like, is that Classy Katie? And I see you and I see your badge name, I'll run at you to, to jump hug you. If we've already discussed, it's okay. You don't really get a chance to cry or anything. We just end up laugh crying together. Fuck. Please stop. Don't hurt me, Dad. Ugh! Oh my Jesus, fuck. I was close. Ooh, this is part of the reason I avoid people. As a white dude, I'm kind of paranoid about... It happens all the time. It is scary. But it happens to women, too. I mean, it happens to everybody. There are just shit humans out there, and you gotta use your best judgment when choosing who to spend your time with and your energy. Full jump hug. The glomp. Unless you say you don't want it, and then I won't touch you. Like, I totally respect that. There's so many people out there who are just completely uncomfortable with physical touch, and who am I to disrespect that? There's gotta be another one. Didn't say clear. Suck it. Oh, a note. Here's gonna... Oh, there's a little bitch. What's this gonna say? It's gonna be sad, I bet. I just get really excited, because you guys, like, you know, we hang out on the internet and stuff, but once a year we get to hang out in person. A note from Sarah. Who? Five moons have passed since as I adjust to this new reality. If not for the bird, I doubt I would have lived past these first few days. I already read this one. Just kidding. Bye. Oh my god, Vissy, please. I love that gif. I've used that gif a couple times. It's just so appropriate. When you miss someone and you need a hug that bad, it's so good. Those two little boys are just like... <sighs> Wait, the fuck is that glowy thing? Suck my ass. Is that something? It's glowing. It looks mysterious. I don't know. What up, cunt? Ah! Good morning, Eliza. How you doing, love? Good back. Good back? <laughs> Welcome back, Melioriated. Good back to you, my sir. Catherine. I still didn't clear it. Where the fuck is the last one? Bitches and sluts. I love them. Tired and sore. Boo, how are your elbows? There's a story? What? A story? I love a good story. I am fucking exhausted. I actually slept past my... I, like, slept through my alarm, Eliza, today, which I don't think I've ever done in my life. I don't even remember it going off. I was two hours late. It was weird. Oh! I, the story... It's like a passive story I've been picking up. So, um... Basically, you have to complete these little quests that are under my face that you guys don't care about, and uh, it, like, gives you a little bit more story as you go. But I... Think. Well, Eliza, I normally wake up before my alarm. The alarm's like a just in case. Like, if I wake up and just lay there, checking my phone too long or something. I know, and I just, my body decided sleep was necessary, I guess. Woke up at 7.30. Oops. Fuck yourself, bitch. Come here. Oh, oh, it's magic. Don't touch me. Um, I think I'm, like, fixing this island that maybe is heaven or a land for dead people or something. Because there's these really sad notes about existing in death around. But then you have these cute little plant creatures you feed crystals to. I have no idea. It's very bizarre. But it just came out. It's, like, newish. Last October or something. I don't want to look it up. I know, Squeaky. I mean, there were people there with, like... You could go as serious or as not serious as you wanted. I just really like to dress up so I take advantage of the situation, you know? It is. It's really chill until you're in, like, a huge battle and I'm, like, crying from being effed in the A. What way am I going? Uh, north. This me. Um, do I have? Yeah. Don't let go of the button, Katie. Fuck, no. Perfect. You have a staff? Shut up. That's so cool. I don't have any of that cool stuff. I'll, I'll probably make myself like a fake, like a fake axe or something. I don't know what kind of weapon I would have if I was like a real warrior. The weapon of screaming in fear. 
That sounded like a dental tool and I hated it. And we hate it. Dude, I can't, I know you've told me that. You've told me some stories about your hikes around the US. I can't believe you did that. It's so crazy, that's so long. And you're like not a crazy hippie, which makes me even stranger, you know? For the most part. <laughs> oh dude, did I tell you not enough? I got, I read a new um, graphic novel I really liked. It was called Something Is, or Something or Someone Is Killing the Children. I think it was Something Is Killing the Children. It's really good though. Do, do suggest. A reclusive hippie. I like that. I'm like a goth hippie. Like, I don't want to hurt animals, but those hippie colors. Like, what are you doing? My nose itches. Okay, we got to take that one up here. Ish. Ish. <laughs> I don't know. Controller buttons baffle me. I used to be such a good console player, and now I'm like special. Too bright. I just, I feel like I'm like, what's interesting about the natural colors of the human body if you're literally covered in just like head to toe neon, but that's just me. I feel like when I wear darker natural tones, like, hey, maybe my mud eyes might stand out or something. Versus if I'm wearing sequins pink, like nothing about my normal face is gonna stand out. They're gonna be like, wow, you're bright. Why is everything blurry here? I really don't know. It gets like sad and blurry. Um, I'm what happened if a laser tag environment grew sentience and tried to help its tried to help its surroundings? That's beautiful. That's like poetry. Go. F Is this a yoke, sir? He just fucking threw me off a wall like a cunt. Oh, a schematic. Thanks, bro. Don't please don't sing puddle. No, no puddle of mud. Can't do it. Horrible. Nope. You know, what's funny is uh, there's studies out there that say the music you will like the most in your entire life is whatever came out when you're in high school. But anything that came out when I was in high school, I have like this nasty aversion to any of it, like any of it. It just reminds me of high school and I'd rather die. Please don't touch me. No, no. Mom said no touching. Searching for glasses? Dude, I need new glasses. And health insurance, among other things. I once hung out and lived with a man who owned his own construction company. I was his twink. We stayed at his California beach house for a week and he would just hand me $300 cash to hang out. We never even held hands. He just enjoyed the company. You know, a lot of people do that. Like, pay women and men just to have a companion. I don't see any shame in it. I. You need something and there is someone willing to provide you the service ethically and responsibly. I don't see anything wrong with sex work either, but who am I? I'm a hippie. Fuck off, you dumb cunt son of a bitch. I'm sorry about the foul language and violence. Really glad, nice. I went to school when Papa Roach was what everybody wanted to listen to. And when that comes on, I accidentally throw up a little bit in the back of my throat. And then I have to swallow it down. And I don't want to do that. What the fuck? Hello? Everybody loves a sex worker until they realize sex workers are making way more money than them. And then they're like, we better ban these titties. They're taking my views. Bitch, if tits are more interesting than you, that's a you problem. Yes, facts. I think there are professional cuddlers and stuff. I, I don't know a lot about it. I am not a professional color, cuddler, but I, know, I think it's out there. My absolute favorite song is from an opera. That's cool. I don't know if I have an absolute favorite song in the whole world. I don't think I could. Too much good music out there to pick one. A moral reason. Yes, Weather Machine. Good reminder. For any of you who are daytime joy takers, if you haven't taken your joy, here's your reminder. We've almost been alive for four hours. What the fuck is going on? My stream goes by way too fast. Can you guys be like less entertaining? Fuck. 
Moonlight Sonata, I can play that on piano still. I kind of hate it because of the amount of times I played it on piano. Like, it brings back, like, foul memories, but it's pretty. No, thanks, thanks. Mark and Weathered, you guys are so nice. Thanks. Learning it? It's not a hella hard song, honestly. It's one of those songs that, like, if you have the an hand anatomy for it, you you're a cheat sauce. Like, I get my hands, my pinky to thumb stretch is pretty fucking big. It's bigger than one octave. And so I kind of can cheat, whereas smaller-handed people literally have to throw their left hand over to hit some note. And it's a little cheating. But there's a few songs like that. Like, the Takata still can play that from memory because it's just burned in my skull for all eternity. Um, usually it's songs I, like, had to do for adjudications. And I, now I hate them. It's, like, over inundation by something. How do you set pronouns? So, if you type exclamation pronouns in the chat, it'll give you a link to go to. And it's on Franker Face. Franker Face. If you have that. Thank you, Eliza. Thank you. Me? I learned clarinet and piano. Piano is the one I really went... I did forever, and then I did opera alongside of it. My mom was very insistent on us having a musical background because she thought it made people smarter. Aw, oh, fuck. I hate these things. Smash me. Come at me, bitch. Do it. I want to feel your ball in my butt. She was big in education. Like, she has her good points. She was definitely, like, other than moving us to the middle of nowhere where the education was absolutely crap for the rest of my life, like, she was very avid about us having a decent education. And she always encouraged arts. Like, you guys, I've told you guys about my enormous, my color crayon basket I had when I was a kid. It's like this enormous picnic basket full of every fucking crayon marker you can imagine. And I'd go to sleep with it every night. Like, it, I'd just lay in bed and color cr color. Test. Um, so you went and set your pronouns. Did you set them with the website? So you have to do the website, set your pronoun, and then you have to download the add-on for chat as well. It's too kind of two stepper. Oh, you know, I'm allergic to just plain eggs. Always have been. I think that's why I don't eat breakfast. My mom, when I was a kid, insisted on eggs for breakfast every day. And I would get nauseous every fucking day or like this heartburn feeling. And I thought it was from eating breakfast, so I just quit breakfast. But it's eggs. I get like a weird heartburn. We might be the same person. Yep. I can eat them if they're like in something like an egg sandwich or something like that with other stuff. I'm okay. But just eggs. I get a really weird just pain. Just hurts. In a bathroom and drew it as best I could in pencil. I left it on my parents' bed. I think I was around 10. Oh, you found it in the trash. That's so sad. I've definitely found a lot of my things in the trash. See, my mom wouldn't throw my art away. But like... For instance, I had talking. What is fun nauseating? Nothing is, Katie. Shut the fuck up. Oh, Katie. Me too. I, art is like a lifelong thing, you know? Like, I hate... You know, we all do it. Oh, you have so much talent. But, like, talent isn't a thing. Maybe you have an eye for things or you have a... a you drift towards making art naturally when you're a kid. But any artist is just, like hundreds of thousands of life hours into whatever they're creating, you know? It's pretty wild. Yes, I do. I actually have a makeup thing planned. I just got a bald cap for it. I'm excited. I'm waiting on a wig. <laughs> Been on a merry-go-round for eating is fun and nauseating. No. That schedule, dude, no. The creating. I mean, and that's the coolest thing about art. Like, you can literally start with absolutely nothing, and at the end, you've got something someone wants to put on their wall. It's kind of wild. And art is subjective. There's no such thing as, like, bad art, good art. It's just what people like. Everybody's different. Did I get any seeds? Yes. Yeah, I do have a makeup uh, thing planned for doing it on me, actually. I haven't done makeup on myself in over a year. I need to make a fucking yoga ball. How about you yoga my dick? Seriously, I need fabric. Go suck. Oh, just kidding. Murder time. Where are they? You sons of bitches. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? You want to party? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Right there? You want to party? <gasps> Fuck off. <laughs> I'm not a golfer. You are. 
suck my ass. See, you, it's like you can't just go explore islands forever because if you don't come back and protect your little dudes, they'll destroy your whole encampment and all the little onions will run away forever. And I don't want my onions running away. I've worked so hard for these stupid onions. Jesus, H. Bitch! Sucking on a titty like you wanted me. Calling me all the time like Blonde. Check out my Chrissy behind! <laughs> Danger! Ugh, fuck off! Sucking ass. Where's the other motherfucker? suck? Suck it! Yeet. All right, little ones, come out. Be my lovers once again. Thank you. Now I have to fix everything, though. Fucking ass. Fix it. What? Filters for digital clothes? Stop it. Please, please don't take pictures of yourself. You're naked. Don't rely on digital clothes. That's a mistake. Don't do it. What? I have to buy fabric, and then we can fucking finish this stupid quest. I came across an embarrassingly bad research paper this evening. Oh, good. It was a short paper, maybe four pages. A four-page research paper is already bad. And it didn't even correctly deduce the cause or scope of the problem it set out to solve. It took me an hour to come up with something that would... What the fuck? Was it a published, like, a journal? Wally's a future I can embrace. I mean, I don't want to be one of those, like, chubby people on a... Like, not, not chubby, like, blob, boneless people drinking my meals. Like, I'm not down with that. But I'd be down with, like, nature taking over. Nature can take over. It's fine. What the fuck am I doing? Selling. Don't talk to me. <laughs> She's an idiot. She's a streamer. I want to keep all the stones. Fuck, I don't know what to do with any of that. I'm just gonna buy some fabric. Fuck it all. Fuck it all. Fuck it. Dude, is, are you implying my brain isn't already hacked? Cell phone hacked my brain long ago. I never stared down as much as I do now. <laughs> I didn't want to pick that up. Okay. But look at him. Aww. Published at the International Conference on Software Engineering. That's gross and makes me sad for you. I've seen papers like that. I mean, did I ever tell you the story of my biology teacher? I was already in RT and I was in school. I was going to Western to finish up chemistry or some, finish up psychology or something like that. But I was in like a some bio course and this teacher was standing in front of hundreds of children and she told them that at nighttime, parts of your lungs actually collapse. And in the morning, sometimes if you listen on your first deep breath, you can feel them pop open. A teacher, that was a professor, like at a university. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. I was so mad. I was grossed out, I was so mad. Like I was just sitting in my seat with a slack jaw, like I didn't even know what to do. I, I'm not going to go after a professor, but definitely didn't really listen to her much after that. <laughs> Why did they collapse? Because God doesn't love you. Because <laughs> God is dead and we're alone. Why are you injured? What's happening here? Was it just dragging its body? That was weird. Is it true and gross or fake and gross? Yes. What is... Um... Fuck if I know, people, I mean, look at the COVID thing right now. Like, people make up their own science. They're crazy, I don't know. People just invent science for their, what is happening? If your lungs collapse, if you're wondering, that's called atelectasis. And if you don't go to a doctor immediately, you'll probably die. If you're wondering, that that's what happens. <laughs> Scrap metal, go fuck yourself. All right, we're adventuring, bye. Dude, all of my onions are hella wet. I can't help it if I'm so popular. With wet onions, ew. It makes me think of like rotting onions when they get all mushy and brown on the inside. 
if people tell themselves lie enough, I know. Mind over matter, dude. Your brain is one of the most incredible muscles, dude. It, it, it's just, it can do anything. Gotta love anti-vaxxers. I fucking hate them. I fucking hate anti-vaxxers. No. I'm not gonna say mean things, but I'm thinking them. <laughs> How many of those do I have? One? Go fuck yourself. Bitch. I like to sweat my onions. Same. Oh, on your own vacation now, Vax? What are you gonna do? Do you have plans? Like, are you like, is it like one of those vacations where there will be absolutely no plans and if someone tries to make a plan, you're gonna take it personal? Because I've definitely had those, those vacations. Like, how dare you? Good. Yep. Those are my favorite. Those are the best. Yep. I love doing nothing. I hate when people over plan a vacation. Like, you realize that half of these plans you're doing, I'm canceling to lay in bed all day. Okay, cool. Just wanted to cover that one. Oh, fuck me. We're good. <gasps> Help! <laughs> it's just a part of your lung. Mm. Dude, that shit happens, but it doesn't happen every night. Like, there is such a thing as a pneumothorax. And if you get a pneumo, like, it happens in young men randomly. What the fuck? <laughs> It happens, but not every night while you're sleeping. <laughs> Fohammer underscore 419 tipped five dollars. I heard that your lungs collapse when you sleep, that girls don't fart, that the COVID vaccine gives you five grams, yeah. that wild pigeons <laughs> have thrown the plains of Montana, Twitch chat isn't thirsty, and that Terminator is a slasher film. Only one of those is true. Five grams? Really? <laughs> I don't even know. Hi, gay. <laughs> Fucking great. I love you, foe. <laughs> oh, bitch. I'm being attacked. Hello? Come at me, you little fucking cock nibbler. Oosh. Wow. That was alarming. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Someone donated a dollar to me earlier to join a gym. That was cute. Gym memberships are like, a good gym is going to cost you like $100. It's disgusting. This is why I run outside. There's danger behind me. <gasps> Fuck my ass. Are you kidding me? Fuck! No, Dad! <sighs> Five grams? I know, right? All I get is this, like, amazing cell phone reception. Fuck. Jim is so hot right now. I'd be happy to join him. Oh, my God, Jim. Giving a name something a name gives it power. You know this, right? 